Hi Richard, welcome to another video about yet another keyboard that I obtained uh, from the Goodwill. This is a, another Casio keyboard that I obtained at the Goodwill uh, the other day, on Thursday. It features pulse code, modifica pulse code modification, whatever that means, and stereo speakers. It's got mid-size keys, 41 mid-size keys, not full-size like that one. <clears throat> it has 12 rhythms, so you can see them, and 12 tones, selectable with this button here. These LEDs light up indicating you go on the top. And this one lights up indicating on the bottom. This one, same thing. This has a Casio cord, auto government, fingered and on. Doesn't have the advanced version like that one does. It's stereo. It's got stereo speakers. And a tuning knob on the side here. It has RCA jacks. To left and right. And it has headphone output, as you can see, I got it connected. And an AC adapter. Did not come with one, so I'm using the one from an old cordless phone. The only one that works. And it has Casio. This is a Casio cord se section for the keyboard. And the rest of it. It's, pretty, it's full of uh, polyphonic, I believe. I don't know. Probably is. And it features each, each rhythm features a uh, fill in that features an intro and end in and a fill in. You control each rhythm and you can mute the bass drum, the snare drum, wind shot drum, and the hand clap, but my bongo drum with these buttons. And also, you can mute the cymbal and hi hat. And the bass chord you can vary with this button too on this other side. So it's got five controls to control the rhythm and the drums. When you mute these, when you turn the switches off, it's all manual. So you play it with these with this pad. Because it responds very, it responds with a light pressure of your of your finger, unlike the. Uh, Yamaha drum machine that I may or may have not reviewed yet. It has a separate accompaniment volume and rhythm volume. And this is the main volume, of course. It's all slider. And the power button, which is an LED that lights up. It takes D sized batteries and also uses an AC adapter. Right now, I've got it connected to my Dural Band uh, 5.1 surround sound speaker system. So it sounds really good on this tape. Watch this video. So let's fire it up and show you what it's like. I'll turn Casio cord off so you can hear it. Right now, this is in this. Uh, I'm gonna show you the synth tones and one of the rhythms. I'm gonna show you all of them. They all sound the same except they vary the drum patterns. This is a piano sound. What it sounds like. <laughs> not coming out of the keyboard, it's coming out of my surround sound. And this is a vibraphone. Sorry you hear that noise as the speaker is in the, my surround sound. Let's disconnect that so you can actually hear what it sounds like in the keyboard. There we go, that's better. Now, let's go to the jazz organ. This is now coming out of the built-in speakers of the Casio that is disconnected from my surround sound. <coughs> the violin and the trumpet. I'm not a player of this, so 
and Funky Clap, which is a good favorite with a lot of people. Switch hands. It's got an interesting little crunchy little tune. Really synthesized. It really shows off the pulse McCold modification system in the keyboard. And the other settings is electric piano. Which almost sounds like a harpsichord. Electric guitar. They all sound like a harpsichord almost. A pipe organ. And the human voice. That sounds like a synthesizer. As somebody said on YouTube before when they reviewed a similar keyboard, they said if I had a human voice sound like that, I'll walk away. And now this is a flute. And you notice it's got a little sustain to it. And this is the step sound, the final, the synth sound, final sound. They all sound similar to this one. Now here comes the rhythm section. You don't hear anything because I have these switches muted. So it's unmuted today. Let's start with... I'm going to go with the disco because that's my favorite one and it sounds best on this keyboard. By the way, the model number of this keyboard is a Casio Tone MT520 keyboard from the night, from the late 80s, early 90s. Listen to the pad. You can see, watch. It doesn't sound like... They all respond with a light touch. Even bumping the iPod with it responds to it. Let's get the rhythm started. So let me turn all these switches back on. Let's get the rhythm going. Surround sound, as you can hear. I just hooked it up to my surround sound, as you heard, if you didn't hear me say that. I'm gonna hook it up back to my stereo system in here. Well, the surround sound system, so you can hear it better, because it sounds better. Okay, let's start the rhythm again. I like to mute these with the effect I'll show you. Right now, set in disco.
Casiatro. So that is the demonstration of the Casio Tone MT520 from Casio. They have a 500 one, but this one is a little bit less, more sound, better sounding, I think. I don't know. Than the 500 series, I'm not sure. 500 series, you can vary the volume of these, I think. This one you cannot. Just, you can mute them. So. It's a good keyboard, I like it. So, well, that's the end in the video of the Casio NT520 keyboard from Casio. Hooked up to my Double Brand 5.1 surround sound. So, have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time.